Hey everybody, Dr. Pate here. Um, I just wanted to take a minute and show you an activity you can do. Uh, if you're like my boys, you're probably getting a little bored. So here's just a fun science activity you can do. So um, before we start, please make sure that you've asked your parents if it's okay if you do this. All right, what you're gonna need, you need a little bit of water. You're going to need six cups. You're going to need some food coloring. You're going to need some paper towels. And guys, I know paper towels are kind of scarce right now. So please, again, make sure that you ask your parents before you do this. Um, you're only going to need, if you have the little half sheets, you're only going to need three of those little half sheets. Or if you have whole sheets, it'll be a sheet and a half. So paper towels and then some scissors. All right, so to set this up, you're going to set out your cups. If you don't have these clear plastic cups like this, you can use um, coffee mugs or you could use bowls. Really anything that's about the same size will work. So I have my six cups setting out. Then I'm going to get my food coloring. And so I have three different colors and I have found that for this activity, uh, red, blue, and yellow work the best. So I'm going to take my yellow and in one of these front cups, I'm going to put, I don't know, four, five, six, ten, put just some food coloring in that one. So there was my yellow. Here is my red. And again, just kind of do what you want. Ten drops is probably more than enough. And here's my blue. And the reason I like to use these colors is because they mix up really neatly. Um, it makes new colors whenever they start to um, do, the, do their action, which you're about to see. So here's my cups. Okay, before I do anything else, well, hang on. Here's, here's my other three cups. They do not have anything in them, and they won't just yet. Okay, before I do anything else, I'm going to do my paper towels. And so I just have the half sheets, so I am going to take one of my half sheets and I'm actually going to cut it in half again. If you have a whole paper towel, you would be cutting it into fourths. So you end up needing six of these little strips of paper towel. Okay. And then I am going to fold those paper towels in half long ways. Okay. And you'll end up doing that on all six of yours and then the fun part. All right. So I'm going to take my cups. And so the ones that have the food coloring in them, those are the ones I'm going to fill with water. I'm going to go a little past halfway. Ooh, try not to drop it and make a mess. Okay. So there's my yellow. Yeah, it looks a little gross. Here's my red. Okay. And here's my blue. All right. So now I'm going to take my empty cups and I'm going to put an empty cup in between each cup that has the water and food coloring. So red, empty cup yellow and I'm making kind of a circle empty cup here's my blue another empty cup and then my red so it's a nice little circle here all right so now I'm going to take my paper towels and I'm going to kind of fold it over just like that I'm going to put one end of the paper towel into the water and one into the empty cup so there it goes into my red and then the empty cup. Here's my next one. So you're kind of overlapping these. So you see I had my empty cup with my paper towel. So I'm going to put the other end, empty cup, and into the blue, just like that. Here's my next paper towel. This one's going to go into the blue and the next empty cup. Okay, next. 
empty cup yellow. Next will be yellow and then a next empty cup. And then the last one, empty cup and red. So you have this nice little circle of paper towels that are going from water, empty cup, water, empty cup, water, empty cup, okay? And so what you'll start to notice, and you can kind of see it on this red one, is the water actually starts to move up the paper towel. That's called capillary action. That's a fancy science word that you'll learn um, probably not in elementary school, but once you get into some of the, the secondary classes. But it's a really fun lab to do, and it, it shows you some really neat things. It does take a little while. You're gonna have to let it sit for a little bit. Um, but let me show you one that I've had sitting for a little while. Okay, so this one has been sitting about an hour and a half or so. It really probably could sit a little bit longer. But you can see how the water, and I know it's a little bit hard because I can't zoom in, but you can see how the water has moved from one cup to the next. And so this is the cup that I had red and yellow in, and so I'm going to kind of make a mess, but that's okay. And so if you see, it made the water turn orange. Okay. So here's red, here's orange. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, here's yellow, there's the yellow. And so remember, this was an empty cup before. Okay. There's another one that was empty before, and this one had yellow and blue, and you can see now, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's green. We have some green water coming out of that one. There's blue, and then blue and red makes purple, right? So you can see how it had moved up our paper towels. Okay, so try this at home. Um, again, ask your parents for permission first. It will take just a little while, but it's really neat to see how those colors start to mix together and how they're moving on that paper towel. They're actually going against gravity and moving up those paper towels. So very cool trick. Stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna try to have some other recordings and activities for you to do this week. And uh, we would love to see pictures of this if you have any. Miss you bunches and I will see you soon, I hope. Thanks guys.